Unity just dropped to their enemy's real-time cinematic teaser, which is showing off quite a few things. I'm just going to shut up for two minutes while we watch this, and then we can discuss kind of everything that was going on in the clip. I have in my head everything that anyone has ever known. You have in your heart everything anyone has ever felt. Power is given only to those who dare to lower themselves and pick it up. Okay, so there you have it. That was the enemy's real-time cinematic teaser. This is a bit of a teaser ahead of GDC, which is going to be in a few days, where they're going to dive a bit more into sort of the details of what's going on here. And it's not all just about the digital humans as well. I'm just going to read from the list here. You can see from on the associated blog post, uh, we've got digital humans in Unity. It's expanding on the Heretic demo, which I believe was from 2020. And amongst other things, there's a better 4D pipeline, a skin attachment system on the GPU, which allows for high density meshes. For example, peach fuzz kind of on the jawline, uh, more realistic eyes with caustics on the iris, a new skin shader and tension tech for blood flow simulation and wrinkle maps. Uh, we'll go back to this post in just a second, but I wanna go back to the video here. And as we go through, um, there's a really good shot, kind of this bit of this close up. So. As we go round, you can kind of just see the kind of peach fuzz on the jawline and the chin. Um, we've got kind of the dappled kind of blood, uh, the blood vessels around the nose. Um, you know, as the light changes, like here, you can really see the kind of the peach fuzz. And then as the light comes back around, if we just um, find the right bit, it's like here. Again, there's those kind of blood vessels, all the different wrinkles, and then the caustics on the eyes are amazing in this demo. Um, something like with Unreal's Metahumans in the previous uh, Ziva technology demo that they did, it was always the eyes, and it's kind of, you know, in any CGI thing, it's usually the eyes that give away uh, that something is CG. It's the whole concept, you know, with Uncanny Valley. Uh, it just looks weird. You know, we look as humans, we focus on people's eyes, and if they're not right, it just throws the whole thing off. Here, I think these are some of the best digital eyes I've ever seen. And, you know, this isn't pre-rendered. This is uh, running in real time, uh, but using DLSS as well to get it to 4K. Um, and you can kind of see some of this stuff here. So it's not just all about the humans, it's the lighting as well. So you can see that they've got the new uh, screen space global illumination. We've got this re these really nice uh, light shafts, the kind of soft ambient occlusion and soft shadows up here. And then the hard shadows where it needs to be hard as well. Um, and like, as I said, that's running with uh, DLSS. There's the um, hair tech that's on show. This is really good. It's got that kind of natural glossy look with the highlights coming through. Um, you can see the, the roots and stuff. And I think you'd be hard pressed if you were just shown this image to sort of decipher whether that was a photograph or uh, a CG thing or not. And yeah, as I mentioned at the start of the video, uh, the demo for this is gonna be displayed um, at GDC. It's gonna be featured at the Unity booth. Hopefully they'll show up a bit more about it as well, just kind of as GDC progresses. And attendees at GDC are gonna be able to uh, check out as either a standalone build or just see it actually running in the editor. 
And then kind of as with their previous demos, which you can go on to, you can download sort of the assets from them and play around with them and break them apart, see how they work. Uh, it does say here that in quarter 2022, we should get access to some of the tech in this package. Um, yeah, it's just, I can't believe how good it looks. Um, after the Ziva technology acquisition, you know, I was kind of on the fence thinking MetaHumans looked a lot better than um, Unity's digital humans so far. But, you know, this... If this is running in real time and using DLSS, if this could run uh, on modern hardware and look this good, you know, we haven't got much to worry about in terms of Unity not being able to compete with Unreal Engine. Obviously, Unreal Engine 5 has uh, like Nanite. There's no kind of mention of that. Um, and we also don't know really whether this is going to be game related or if it's more sort of production ready. But if it's running in real time, I can't see why you know, they wouldn't try and make the tech available to newer hardware and it'll all filter down anyway. But yeah, I just wanted to do a very quick video kind of covering this. It's kind of breaking news. Um, I'd be quite interested to hear what you think. Do you think this is cool? Do you prefer it over the sort of Unreal Engine stuff we've been seeing recently? Do you think this is the best? Uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. I have in my head everything that anyone has ever known. You have in your heart everything anyone has ever felt. Power is given only to those who dare to lower themselves and pick it up.